Hi, and welcome to Little Bits HQ. My name is Crystal, and I'm going to introduce you to the Little Bits Deluxe Kit from our Exploration series. If you didn't know, Little Bits is an expanding library of electronic modules that snap together with magnets. You can take those modules and combine them with craft materials, building sets, and other toys to electrify your life. I'll show you how to use the 18 modules in the kit, as well as exciting project ideas in the booklet. When you open the box, you'll first find this booklet. It tells you all about the modules, projects, and other resources. You'll notice right away that the, the modules come in different colors. They are grouped into four different categories. Little bits snap together with magnets. The magnets are always right, and you can't put the modules together the wrong way. The first module you see there is power. All power modules are blue. This power module connects to a 9 volt battery to supply electricity to your little bit circuit. It's connected to an RGB LED, a special light whose color you can adjust. Use the included screwdriver to adjust each color channel to almost any color. You can place a pink input module before your green modules to control them. The button is a classic. Push to turn on and release to turn off. The timeout is like a settable timer. Place an input like a button before it to activate the countdown. In on-off mode, the light will go on and the time will start counting down to turn off. In off-on mode, the light will go out when you release the button and will turn back on after the timer reaches the allotted time. The light wire is a long wire that glows a soft blue color. It's made of electroluminescent wire, which is great to form into glowing shapes. The pulse is like an electric heartbeat. It sends out a stream of short on signals, and you can adjust the speed using the screwdriver. The sound trigger is a module that senses the noise level in your room and sends an on signal when it gets over a certain level. You can make that threshold louder or softer using the screwdriver. The buzzer is like the sound in your alarm clock. It buzzes whenever you get an on signal, making a sound you just can't ignore. The servo motor is a controllable motor that can swing back and forth in two different modes perfect for robotic arms. In turn mode, the input from other modules determines the position of the arm. In swing mode, the servo will move back and forth on its own and the input controls how fast it goes. The other module you see there is the slide dimmer. Use the slide dimmer by moving the slider from one end to the other to see how it affects the modules that follow. The DC motor rotates a D-shaft when you send it an on signal. The left-right switch controls the direction of the rotation. You can attach all sorts of materials to it using the motor mate. We'll talk more about that later. The fork gives you more options for connecting your little bits modules. It lets you connect the output of a single module to as many as three others. You'll notice it is an orange module. All orange modules help you expand your reach and change direction. The inverter sends out the opposite signal of whatever it receives. Send it an on signal and the inverter changes it to an off signal or vice versa. The latch turns a momentary input, like a button, into an on-off switch. Press the button once to turn the light on, press it again to turn it off. The wire allows you to physically separate your little bits modules. Try it whenever you need to break up your circuit chain. That's all you'll find in the deluxe kit. Now for some tips and tricks. There's a lot of materials you can add to the DC motor. The best way to add them is using the motor mate. You can just slip on the motor mate, like so, and you'll notice that the motor mate has a series of crevices and a hole in the middle. 
This is where the materials go. One of the best things you can add to the MotorMate is a Lego axle. This will allow you to build motion into all of your Lego sets. My next tip is about the light wire. The light wire is an amazing bit because you can have four, over four feet of light to sculpt and bend into all of your projects. One thing that I like to do is take a piece of construction paper and a hole puncher, punch a series of holes, take your light wire, and just simply weave it through the holes. And that's an easy way to attach it to all of your projects. We also use the light wire in this snazzy unicorn helmet for bike riding at night. You won't be missed when you're wearing this. We've also woven it through these dancing stomping shoes so you won't be missed on the dance floor either. For more tips and tricks like these, go online. There are tons of projects you can make with a deluxe kit. Let's start with a simple one. We call it the clap it. It involves a power bit, a sound trigger, a latch, and an RGB LED. So the way this one works is that when you clap, the latch holds the signal so the RGB LED stays on. And when you clap again, it releases it so it turns off. You can take this simple circuit and elevate it into a project that we call the birthday candle. So all you have to do with this one to turn it on is clap. The difference is that this circuit has an inverter in it so that when it's your birthday and you're just saying happy birthday and you're ready to make your wish, when you blow on the sound trigger, it turns the RGB LED off. The next project I would like to demo is this robot project. When you turn him on, he's sound activated. So when you clap, he rolls and moves his arm with the servo and his eyes also light up. For more inspirational projects like this honking tricycle, be sure to check them out online. Or better yet, make your own project and share it with our community. That's it for the Deluxe Kit. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. If you have any questions, email us. Now go make something.